yours, the kids have had enough of the rules and Kate. If I could get your guys' help right now. <laughs> I do not like Kate, personally. She laughs a lot for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then she just notices everybody's not happy and stuff, and then he's just like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. In Colorado, it's karaoke time. Roxy wants to focus on Alex having a good time, but yet again, Adam is preoccupied. This time with the cockatoo. With the rules that Roxanne set in place, Maki has not gotten the type of time that she normally would get with us, and she's a very delicate young lady that needs a lot of attention and love. When Adam goes for takeout, he's still concerned about the bird. Roxanne still feels that we should go out and pick up dinner. Maybe I should still be there making sure Maki's OK. As soon as I get home, I will uh, check Maki and just kind of keep a close eye on her, and I'll let you know if I need any more information. You OK? Maki had a little bruise or something, nothing major that I could tell, but Adam showed way more concern than he did when Alex broke out in a rash. Sit over here so I can keep Maki. I'll have more room this way. Ooh, what is that? That's going to give you bad breath. You want to climb up? I think I lost my fork. Yeah. <clears throat> what happened to X-Men? I don't know. You OK, big girl? All right, come on in. In Maine, Kate's worried Ron hasn't got a grip on training the kids and has really must learn positive reinforcement techniques training animals. Ron is here to learn about positive reinforcement. They're looking to me to help them make the right decisions. Hershey, sit down. Good, Hershey. Shake. You're a good girl. I thought it was ridiculous to compare training animals to raising children. Hershey, down. Okay, shake. My kids are human beings. They're people. Kate doesn't know a thing about